previously on AMC's The Walking Dead in three minutes. Let's begin. Rick Grimes, a police officer, is shot by a criminal and falls into a coma. He awakens several months later to a zombie apocalypse. He escapes the hospital to search for his wife Lori and his son Carl. He meets another survivor named Morgan, grabs a bag of guns, and rides for Atlanta. In Atlanta, Rick is greeted by the common folk, a horde of zombies. Rick uses a radio to contact with his new BFF, Glenn. Rick then cuffs a gigantic to a pipe. Glenn leads Rick back to his camp, where his wife and son are waiting for him. And all is well again. Just kidding, Rick's best friend Shane and Lori have been knocking boots. They decide to head to the CDC, but it blows up. They then decide to get the f out of Atlanta, but get stuck in traffic. Carol's daughter, Sophia, runs into the woods. While looking for Sophia, a hunter named Otis accidentally shoots Carl. Otis leads the gang to Herschel's farm. And here's a quick rundown of the worst season of the show. Glenn and Maggie, Herschel's daughter, bump uglies. Lori finds out she's pregnant. Rick discovers Herschel keeps zombies in his barn. Shane opens the barn. Dale dies. Shane tries to off Rick, but fails miserably and dies. Carl makes sure he stays down. The farm is overrun and the gang splits up. Andrea, the worst character, is saved by Michonne, the best character. Rick declares himself in charge and the gang clears out a zombie prison fortress. Michonne takes care of Andrea. That gigantic named Merle, now sporting a super ball and knife hand gizmo, finds them and takes them to a community called Woodbury. They find that Woodbury is run by a man named the Governor, who has a zombie daughter. Lori goes into labor, but dies afterwards. Michonne discovers the prison. Merle takes Glenn and Maggie hostage. The gang attacks Woodbury. Michonne kills the Governor's daughter and stabs the Governor in the eye. The Governor kills Merle. The Governor goes full Soviet Russia and kills all of his people. Andrea gets killed off and is replaced by Tyrese and Sasha. The gang steals all of the Governor's remaining townsfolk. A sickness breaks out and Glenn gets down with it. Oh. <laughs> Carol kills the sickly and is banished. The governor takes over a new group and tries to take over the prison. Again. But hey, he has a tank now. The governor decapitates Herschel, but is immediately slayed by Michonne. The gang is split up once again and make their way towards Terminus. Glenn awakens from his sickness. Glenn escapes the prison and runs into a new gang. The gang makes it to Terminus, but are taken prisoner by cannibals. Tyrese and Carol break the gang out. Rick unbanishes Carol, and the gang finds a shifty as creature named Gabriel. Abraham and his gang leave, but come back. Tyrese dies. The gang is invited to Alex Alexandria. They're allowed to stay. Diana, their leader, and Rick, uh, Bond, you can say. A tower knocks down Alexandria's wall and is overrun by zombies. Diana dies and Carl is shot in the eye. Rick meets Jesus. Well, not the actual Jesus, that's just what people call him. And invites him back to Alexandria. Rick and Michonne bang that bone so hard that Maggie gets pregnant. Yeah, that's how it works. Jesus leads the gang to his community, the Hilltop. Jesus tells them of an evil group called the Saviors. Some of the gang are captured. Carol leaves, but Morgan goes after her. Maggie gets sick because she's super preggers and the rest of the gang gets captured. The gang is introduced to the comedian, I mean Negan, who explains how they must pay tribute. Negan kills Abraham and then Glenn. Carl tries to assassinate Negan but fails. Negan brings back Carl to Alexandria. The gang decide to fight Negan once and for all. Morgan meets Ezekiel and his community, the kingdom, and his mother tiger. Sasha sacrifices herself to catch Negan off guard and the war begins.